The next morning, I checked. This is my reading. That's how I look like. This is 2016. After three months, three and a half months, I become 83 to 85 kg. That's how I look like. Three or four months after that. And until now, I'm still maintaining the same. I'm talking about 2017. Now we are in 22. Five years, I am diabetes free. And my body is better. I feel better. Everything in my life is better. When I get the contract from this result, I had to do a full medical examination. And I did not expect that I have type 2 diabetes. Why? I never expect that. Because my health was okay. No signs. Nothing at all. The doctor prescribed some tablets for me. I took for one week or maybe two weeks. I can't recall. And then I just neglect. 2011, I had another contract from this college in Brunei. And I had to do another physical checkup, medical examination. And the doctors and the tests confirm you have type 2 diabetes. We people have high trust in doctors. And by the way, I'm not talking my experience with all the doctors, but the people that I dealt with, the doctors that I dealt with. My friend, Dr. Sanjeev, he's a, he's a physician. He told me exactly what this is. Th these are his words. You can't live without medicine. That's the first medicine. Second, third, and then the fourth type. So four types of medication since 2011 until end of 2017. During these days, my body has all the side effects that I'm going to share with you later. Then once I was, I was really tired, and I'll tell you the story later. I was watching a movie. Escape plan, Sylvester Stallone. Some doctors prescribe medications about which they know little to treat diseases about which they know lesser for patients about whom these doctors know very little or almost nothing. Let's have a look at the negative side effects of diabetes medications. You will feel them somehow one day if you are taking medication. You will feel what I'm about to say. Physical weakness or fatigue. Muscle pain, vitamins deficiency, all sorts of vitamins, especially B complex, etc., etc. Bloating and gas, constipation, heartburn or acid reflux. My work, I mean, because of my work, I travel a lot, so many countries. I never travel without these two medicines. These tablets, which is famotidine, I think. I don't want to mention the brand. And this syrup, anti-acid or something like that. I, I used to buy by cartons because of the acid reflux that I had. Since I started this, I never had it. I never buy it. I never use it. I never even felt any heartburn. Long time ago, daily, daily. I, I have whatever I eat. So let's see the symptoms that can tell you that you are in danger. You have a problem and you, you might get to this stage of taking insulin, diabetes. First is frequent urination. Every two hours, one hour, go to the toilet, especially at night. You will feel hungry between meals. You just had your lunch, let's say one o'clock. At three o'clock, you need something. You need some snacks or at night after dinner while watching TV. You will have blurred vision slowly. When I had this problem, they gave me two glasses, one for the short side, one for the far. Look at me, I'm not using any. I'm in front of my laptop. I'm not using any of these glasses. Fatigue, tired all the time. You will feel it. If you, if you feel that, if you have that, you are on the way to either uh, insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. If you feel itching in the foot, it's really irritating. You need really to scratch it, meaning you have or in the, on the way to type 2 diabetes. Obesity, too much fat everywhere, which I had it. If you have slow wound healing, last time when I made the Arabic version of this, I had a wound here, healed in uh, three, four days. 
five days max. If you have darkening of the skin in wrinkle areas, here as you see it, behind your knee, behind your, the neck, under the armpit, this we call it acanthesis negligens. If you have this, you have a problem with your sugar level. If you discover or you have some of these symptoms, you have to seek advice. However, some doctors, those whom I met and I dealt with, will give you a medical advice that brings destruction, will make things worse. The big problem is these doctors are still advise people to do these things. 95% of doctors I met repeat what they have learned in medical schools. And this information, most of it is old. Many doctors I met try to treat type 2 diabetes as if it is type 1, meaning you have high sugar means you need insulin. You no, know, type 1 is totally different. Type 1, from the beginning, you have no insulin. Type 2, you live maybe for 40, 50 years, then suddenly you, 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 you have the high blood sugar. Means how did you live the, the, 50, the last or the past 50 years? Means you have insulin. What I discovered that I had insulin resistance, meaning too much insulin and too much sugar. The cell is not accepting any insulin because of so many things and I will mention. Let's see some of these advices that brings destruction and worsening the case. First advice, eat everything in moderation. There is no unhealthy food. This is what some doctors say. No unhealthy food, excuse me. Another advice, never skip breakfast. Don't miss a meal, why? Why when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I look for is food. Why? What's the reason? As long as I'm not hungry at all, why should I eat? Especially if pancakes, all this sugary stuff and the carbs. Another advice, more meals in small quantities. Instead of having three meals, no. You have breakfast at eight, have one uh, donut at 11, have lunch at one, uh, have another donut or some crackers at three o'clock. And evening you have your dinner, five meals. Destruction. Each time you put a bite in your mouth, that will turn into sugar, especially if it's carbs or sugar. So we, we need to reduce the number of meals, not to eat more. Another advice, the so-called advice, consume less fat. Why? Why? Everything from nature, especially the good organic ones, are very good. Good fats in, in, in peanuts, in chestnut, in avocado, olive oil, olives, fish, salmon. They are very good for our health. Another advice, consume less salt. This is right, but something is missing. Consume less white salt. That's correct. Consume less white salt. Why? This is only two, two, two elements in, in this product. Na, sodium, Cl, chloride. When we were in school, we used to play with each other and say uh, two elements. If you eat each one alone, you die. If you put them together and eat them, nothing happened. And ACL, we should advise people to start consuming this salt, sea salt, black salt, Himalaya salt. This kind of salt contains at least 84 different trace minerals, which is enough for our body. Another advice, obesity is dangerous, correct, but it's not the way they advise. You have to lose weight to be healthy. No, no. You have to be healthy to lose weight. That's correct. Our body designed to burn fat. If we have this kind of obesity, means we have problem. Somehow, when we fix the problem, automatically our body will become better. That's how I look like. This is 2016. I was 107 or 110 kg. My weight never changed. 105, 107, 110, not less. And that's how I look like. This is my speech in Manila, Philippines, the Philippines, 2017 for Omni Aviation. If we enlarge my picture, see how do I look like. This is also another picture during my speech to Saim Darby in Malaysia.
when we enlarge it, see how I look. And I was 110 kg that time. By the way, I never exercise. Walking, that's the max. And once in a blue moon. After three months, three and a half months of following the advice of the doctors I mentioned, I become 83 to 85 kg. That's how I look like. Three or four months after that. And until now, I'm still maintaining the same. I'm talking about 2017. Now we are in 22. Means five years. Five years, I am diabetes free. And my body is better. I feel better. Everything in my life is better. Another advice. The brain prefers carbohydrates and glucose. That's not true. Ketones is the brain's preferred fuel. Ketones that comes from our liver. Another advice, use vegetable oil instead of fat. That is destruction. That's a problem, big problem. Majority of our problems are be because of these vegetable oils. And I still remember what my friend doctor told me. You can't, Ali, Ali, yeah? you can't live without medicine. Okay, fine. Now, after I finished this speech in the Philippines, I went to Brunei for another seminar or speech. People know me that I can deliver three days workshops, 10 hours per day, and I'm okay. No problem. Go back to the hotel, take shower, and I'm fine. No problem. But those days, I felt so tired, really tired after four hours or less than four hours. And when I checked my blood sugar, it was 9.8 with four types of medication. Why? Because I don't control what I eat. No control. No sense. You are taking medicine. You are fine. But when I checked at that time, that is the 6th of September 2017. It was 9.8. However, with these four, I have all these kind of some symptoms. Weak. My chest has something wrong. I don't know what is it. Gum and teeth problems. Every now and then. Every now and then. I have to take these painkillers. Blurred vision. Flu. Twice a month at least. And since that day, I started this, I never had a flu even once, five years. I used to have the atrial fib. Boom, 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 boom. What is the problem? You feel really scared, really frightened when this happens. Bloating, frequent urination, constipation, heartburn, and too much fat everywhere. Okay. This is what I told you, 110 kgs. Now, in 2014, I came across to study the DC psychology, directive communication psychology. And I learned something about what we call reticular activating system. That is the, the focus center of our brain. What we can guide our brain to focus on or not to focus on. This is introduced to me by Master Guru, this is considered number one thought leader in the world now, according to Global Gurus, Arthur Karmazi, my friend, my guru. And I'm a li licensed to do his work. I learned about this from him, and for that, he, I offer him my heartfelt gratitude. Now, I needed to put this stress at work, in action. Go to our friend, YouTube, and search. YouTube also, thank you. Everyone who puts things in YouTube is so helpful, and you have my heartfelt gratitude. Search. Cure type 2 diabetes naturally. I came across the first video, Jason Fong. 12 minutes. I watch. Wow. This is something good. All right. Let me see if there is someone else who's saying the same thing. I don't know. Is it true? Then I discovered the Arabian Dr. Mazin saying the same thing. Wow. Okay. See, 
those people again have my heartfelt gratitude. You see, yeah, I understood that what I have is too much insulin and too much sugar. Too very high insulin, very high sugar. Problem. Insulin resistance. The insulin can't go and open the cell to let it take sugar. So that's why your blood flow full of sugar. Okay. I understood that the insulin come from my pancreas. And since you have insulin, your pancreas is still working. You just need to give it a rest. You have too much insulin. And you don't need to increase the insulin or to, to, uh, to give medications to make the, the pancreas make more insulin. You already have too much insulin. Go and check your insulin level. I open up. And there is only one way for me, I believe. There is only one way to prove these people right or wrong. That is to try. They explain in details that whatever problem comes to our health is because of this single hormone, insulin, diabetes, heart diseases, dementia, strokes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, which is also a symptom. It's not a disease. High blood pressure is not a disease, it's a symptom. Fatty liver, cancer, all these are helped by in insulin. You need to reduce your insulin because when you have insulin resistance, the insulin is the key to open the receptor. So the glucose channel will open and the sugar goes in. This is not working. Example. The cell is just like this bus, designed for 40 passengers. Each time we put passengers in, passengers in, then where people become standing. Some 40 people sitting, the others are standing here and there, and keep on giving, keeping in. Then one time the bus will tell you, sorry, there is no space. I can't take any more. And this become the case. These passengers on top of the bus are the sugar inside our blood. And we will know when we have high sugar for long term, what will happen? Complications. For these, there is only one way to find out these people are correct, what they are saying is right, or just not right. Okay, what is that? I supposed to order my dinner that night. I did not. I cancelled it. Never mind. I will try. I have to try. I also decided no medication. I would stop medication immediately. And I do not advise you to do the same before you consult your doctor and another one. What I mean is you have to ask your own doctor first and ask another one. The next day before my flight at the airport, I ordered Chinese mixed vegetables fried with butter. That's it. I had it, take the flight, and I did not eat until the next morning. Nothing. Decided to stop sugar completely. Everything. All carbs. Whatever carbs, I have to stop. I decided that day, 7th September 2017. The next morning, I checked. This is my reading. Uh, sorry, two weeks later. When I, I follow that. But during these days, I used to check my blood every two hours, three hours, four hours seven hours, uh, was so scared because I'm not eating. How about if my sugar drops so fast? When I check, check, five, six, 5.5, 5.4. This is the first check after two weeks, steady. This is 22nd September, 2017, 5.4. Three days later, I stopped checking every day. Three days later, 25th, 4.9. Wow, these guys are right. Oh, we're right. 26, three days later, 5.1. Three days later, 5.8, which is great. 3rd October, 4.8. 14 October, 11 days later, because I, I, I started to drag the tests. I don't have to, to, to do it every day. Since I'm following the, the correct way of eating and controlling my diet, I don't have to test every day. This test was 11 days after the 4.8. This was the 2nd of November, 4.9.
Then 6th of December, 4.9. One month later, one month, four days after that. No need to check every day for me. This is on the 5th of January, 2018. Thank you, Dr. Eric. Thank you, Dr. Jason. Thank you, Dr. Andreas, Dr. Mazin. 27th January, 2018. Guess when I did the next check? 23rd August, same year, 5.8, meaning no need to check. I have some doubt. Maybe my machine has a problem. Maybe something wrong. I went and I bought another one, another machine, different brand. And I checked, I think, between the two checks, the two tests, uh, less than 20 minutes or 20 minutes or so. Same reading for both machines. So these guys were right. And I have to follow. And I will follow the rest of my life for better me. Because the more chemicals we take, the worse our health will be. First, preparation and mental readiness. That's very important. And the first solution to any problem is to accept that there is a problem. Yes, I am sick. I have a disease and I need to take care of myself in order to not to have any kind of complications. The first thing we need is determination. Determination, to be determined and to continue. When you see results, just continue. You must have discipline. Today I will eat this. Yes, just focus on that. Discipline. And to be consistent. To be consistent. Not to do this one day, one week, then stop. No. You have to change your lifestyle completely for the better you, as I did. Now, you have to prepare in your mind also that success does not care about what you like or you don't like. Success of any kind is based on obedience to principles. Obedience to principles. Example, this car, its principles say to drive this car you have to put either gasoline or battery. Nowadays, there are cars with batteries. Either this or that. Now, if you say, I don't like the smell of the gasoline, I want to put orange juice or apple juice. The car will not drive because you did not follow the principle. You have to follow the principle. Whether if you like the gasoline or you don't like the smell of the gasoline, you have to follow the principles of this car in order to drive it. Another example, if you want to plant chili, hot chili, principle say, take the seed, make it into seedling. One month, I mean, plant it one month later or 28 days, it will become a seedling. Take that seedling, put it in the soil, water it, fertilize it, and take care of it. Three months, you will get the fruit. Now, someone come and say, yuck, I do not like to touch soil. Instead, you take the seedling, put it in a vase, and put it in your bathroom. And instead of water, you give it orange juice every day. Will you have chili? No. Why? Because you don't follow, follow the principles. Principles for getting rid of type 2 diabetes is the same. Principles we have to follow, you will see absolute results. Number one, fasting. Do not eat. Start with intermittent fasting. Start, let's say, you sleep eight hours. When you wake up in the morning, don't eat. Eat at 12 noon, one, one meal. And by the way, you will just feel that you are suffering the first four days. After that, become completely okay. I eat once, once at a day, once every 24 hours. And my meal is evening. I eat it, finish. After a few hours, I sleep. Next morning, the whole day, either coffee, water, that's it. And I don't feel hungry the whole day at all. Now, if you tell me what you eat, I'll tell you how your health will be in the future. It's very important. I like this, I mean, originally from India. If you don't eat your food as medicine, this say, if you don't eat your food as medicine, you will mix most of your food with medicine. True. If we don't watch and take care of what we are taking, 
Later, everything we need, we need one tablet before food, one tablet after food, one tablet during food, etc. We need to know our friends. Our friends, I mean, regarding food. We need to know them. And our enemies. What destroy our bodies. Number one, that is the culprit. Number one culprit. Sugar. Number two, flour. Products of wheat. Third, all carbs. All. These are our what? Our enemies. Fast food. We, we, we don't know. We have no idea what kind of oil they use to fry. All fast food. Vegetable oil. Dangerous. All kind of soda. I don't have to mention any brand. All these are not allowed. Don't tell me diet uh, so, uh, soda, diet this, diet that. Uh, no sugar added. No. Not allowed. All kind of sweets. Not allowed. Our friends, these, fish, meat, vegetables, a lot of it, cauliflower, olive oil, olives, avocado, broccoli, whatever. All vegetables except potato. And the, the vegetables that grow under uh, ground, like carrot, like this, like that, we have to reduce these amounts. This is the best friend that you will ever eat. The best protein after mo mother's milk after ladies' milk for the babies is egg. Make it your daily routine. I eat four eggs every day. Sometimes five. Daily. The, 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 some days, three. That's the minimum. But my regular is four eggs per day. This is one of the best friends that you can use. Always look how much sugar or carbohydrates in that food. Not calories. Don't worry about the calories. Calories is not a problem. This is Dr. Andreas, dietdoctor.com. He has almost everything explained in his website. How much carbs you have in each thing. Like, like how much in half burger bread, uh, in some pasta, in rice, in potato. These portions have 20 grams. This is the max we can eat per day. We can have the 20 grams of carb from these, beside all the other vitamins and proteins that we have in them. You can go to his website and see great details about everything. Everything you eat. These are not allowed. You can see this in his website. I don't have to mention everything. But he is guiding you which you can eat, which you can't eat as a diabetic. You can find it in his website, dietdoctor.com. Thank you, Dr. Andreas. Thank you so much. Now, if this you can't, that you can't. What to eat? Don't forget. To admit that you have a problem is the first step to solution. I am diabetic. I can't just go to my normal life. We have to accept that. Now, this is what I eat. This is mixed vegetables with minced beef. Very delicious, very filling, no problem. You won't feel hungry at all. And as I mentioned, when you, st when, you, when you start, you will have a problem only the few days, maximum four days, five days. After that, become completely normal for you. Your body will start adjust again. But you do that, don't stop your medication, consult your doctor and another doctor before you start this. But I guarantee you, five years, five years, I am fine. No medication, not one table, not even one table. Uh, that is a steam. This one is steamed fish, Chinese way. This is butter prawn. This is what I eat. This is lamb shank with vegetables, a lot of it. You see salad, 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 salad. This is eggplant with some hummus. Hummus is the chickpeas with olive oil, etc., etc., garlic. And notice the microgreens. Microgreens in my shoulder, next to my, sh my, my shoulder. Uh, sorry, this shoulder. Yeah. Salmon. And also, I like to eat Japanese food, but I don't eat much. One, two, three, four pieces, four bites. That's it. 
this is salad a lot of salad lettuce olives salmon etc this is fried fish with butter broccoli etc and this is chinese fried vegetables this is i believe fish onions hummus chili avocado and notice the microgreen next to the avocado microgreen is a daily process for me must every day this is another dish i think it's eggplant and and, and beef uh, liver eggs beef uh, liver microgreens uh, hummus it's only one meal a day so it doesn't matter as long as it's healthy i'll, I'll consume it no problem this is i think uh, hummus cheese uh, lettuce microgreens and i believe it's some kind of uh, meatball egg with hummus and vegetables uh, chicken uh, heart okra with eggs each of these plates only one day so i just change every day i, I make something different i cook something different. this is barbecue chicken wings and uh, uh, chicken liver microgreens some coleslaw lemon and some pickles eggs fried vegetables microgreens cucumber hummus a lot of choices tahini tahini salad with garlic garlic uh, uh, barbecue chicken etc very nice and this is the meat organs very famous chinese dish what fruit to eat all right also in uh, dietdoctor.com uh, dr andreas will tell you what is allowed lemon is okay coconut is okay cantaloupe is okay anything in red is prohibited not allowed banana uh, grapes etc etc kiwi okay once in a while berries are, are fine strawberry raspberry blackberry uh, i eat this the this stuff but not every day not necessarily every day avocado anytime as long as it's, there is avocado take no problem a lot of fat and it's only one gram of uh, carbs inside then you have to have to start new habits the first one is apple cider vinegar this one one spoon one tablespoon and a glass of water drink it if you feel you don't want to hurt your teeth according to what people say i never felt that in fact i never had any problem with my teeth i mean from maybe one year plus after i start this i don't have problem and uh, I, i don't feel anything when i drink it but if you just use the straw and consume it that's one habit second habit if you don't have you can have this also but if you don't have the apple cider vinegar just take one limit with the skin put it in the blender add some water blend it and drink that water with the skin i emphasize on the skin with the skin it's important to have with the skin garlic make it your friend because this is the most the best antibiotic natural antibiotic on 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 this planet just search benefits of garlic and you see make it your best friend in every dish and i take it and consume it raw i don't cook it onions onions are very good in everything and i also consume it raw chili i like it you don't have to like it but i like it so much i love chili and in fact i have a book uh, titled the book of chili explain everything about the chili where in this country that country types brands etc etc kale 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 the best vegetable on this planet just type benefits of kale how much vitamins magnesium iron of your daily value in this, just one uh, uh, what do we call uh, plant kale is important why because it's full full of vitamin k 
we need 4,700 milligram of vita potassium, sorry, potassium uh, every day. Where you get them from? Okay. High potassium, these two, banana and, and potato, are high in potassium. But we can't consume this as diabetics. We can't. So what to do? I tell you, we need to consume this amount of broccoli. Huh? Yes. And this amount of radish. Huh? Yes. How? Microgreens. The moment I heard about microgreens and what benefits we can get and it can, what can uh, one just simple microgreen have of benefits, I never stop. You see, this amount in the small plate is equal, each one, each one of these is equal to grown adult radish. This is equal to this. And you can search the internet about microgreen and see what is it. Uh, this is my tray. I used to plant and I even used to sell to my friends and some uh, one in my friend's supermarket. Microgreens, very important. And finally, I suggest you have the green chutney daily. Green chutney. It's a mixture of coriander, mint, some celery, uh, lemon, garlic, chili, uh, some apple cider vinegar, onions, green onions, mixed together, no need to cook, and use it as a dip instead of uh, chili sauce, tomato ketchup, all this kind that is full of sugar. This is tastier and better. And also with yogurt. You can just uh, type uh, in, in Google search on YouTube, uh, Indian green chutney you will see how you can make it. Finally, I say insulin is the mother of all problems. Control your insulin and you are fine. Just follow, reduce your food, etc., etc. And don't forget that good health meaning or means good life. And the best wealth is a good health. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And if you like this video, please share it to as many people as you can. Uh, so people can benefit from it if you like it. And if you're looking for some other uh, answers regarding leadership, organizational culture, organizational development, management, team performance, the actual root cause of all these problems, just type your comment in, 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 your, in, in the comments below. And as long as there are so many frequent questions or similar questions, I will make videos and I answer these questions regardless of the industry. Thank you so much again. And I wish you great success.